हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं सिर्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई सेल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ क्वेश्चन बैंक ऑन चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड टू सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बी पार्ट फर्स्ट लेट इज स्टार्ट विथ दैट सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन टू मार्क्स इच नंबर वन Complete the following chart regarding the weight and mass of the object. Here, object mass and weight are given. Objects are on Earth and on Moon. Mass on Earth is x. Then, what will be the mass on the Moon? Weight on the Moon is y. What will be the weight on the Earth? That we have to solve. The solution for this will be: if mass on the Earth is x, then the mass on the Moon will be also x. If the weight on the Moon is y, then on the Earth it is six y. Stress Newton's universal law of gravitation. Gravitational force between two bodies in the universe is directly proportional to the product of their masses, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Define acceleration due to gravity. Write its value on the surface of the Earth. The acceleration produced in a body under the influence of the force of gravity. alone is called acceleration due to gravity accelerated acceleration due to gravity value on the surface of the earth is 9.8 meter per second square if a person weighs 750 newton on earth what will be the weight of the person on moon the mass of the moon is 1 upon 81 times the mass of the earth and its radius is 1 upon 3.7 times that of earth Write first the given thing. Weight on the Earth is 750 Newton, and ratio of mass of the Earth, m, to the mass of the Moon, m, is m upon m is 81. Ratio of the radius of the Earth, r, to the radius of the Moon, r, m, is r upon r, m is 3.7. We have to find out the weight of the Moon. Formula is weight is equal to m g that we know. That could be written as m into g m upon r square, where value of g is g m upon r square. Calculations will carry. The weight on the Earth m g will be m g m e upon r e square, which is 750. Therefore, m can be written as 750 r e square upon g m e equation one. Now, weight on the Moon m uh, w Moon will be m g m m upon r m square. Second equation. Subtract this equation one and two. We will get weight on Moon is equal to seven fifty two r e square upon g m e into g m m upon r m square, which will be uh, here seven fifty into r e square upon r m square into m m upon m e. Now again we substitute the values. Weight on Moon is equal to seven fifty into three point seven bracket raised to square because the value of this uh, r e upon r m is seven three point seven. Into one upon eighty-one, that is m m upon m e. After calculating this one, we are getting one twenty-six point eight newton. So the weight of the person on moon will be one twenty-six point eight newton. Mahendra and Virat are sitting in a distance of one meter from each other. Their masses are seventy-five kg and eighty kg respectively. What is the gravitational force between them? Here, g is equal to six point sixty seven into ten to the power of minus eleven newton meter square per kg square. Friends, here the distance r is equal to one meter. Mass m one will be seventy five kg and mass m two is eighty kg. Gravitational constant g is six point sixty seven into ten to the power of minus eleven newton meter square per kg square. We have to find out find out here the gravitational force here. So formula is f is equal to g m one m two upon r square. We we'll put the values. So f is equal to six point sixty seven. Into 10 to the minus 11, it is the value of g. M1 is 75, m2 is 80. Upon distance r is 1 square. After solving this, we are getting f is equal to 4.002 into 10 to the power minus 7 newton. So the gravitational force between Mahendra and Virat is 4.002 into 10 to the power minus 7 newton. Identify the mistake in the given diagram and draw it again. Friends, here you could see the diagram. Earth is given, Moon is there. Here, Moon's gravitational force is towards Earth. Here, uh, low tide is there, low tide, high tide, and high tide. The equation could be corrected in this way: that uh, here the direction of 
moon's gravitational force is from earth to moon so uh, here low tide is in the vertical and high tide is in the horizontal way so this is the corrected figure from this one the mass of the planet x is four times that of the earth and its radius is double the radius of the earth the escape velocity of the body from the earth is 11.2 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second find the escape velocity of a body from the planet x friends here given things are escape velocity of the earth surface is v escape is equal to 11.2 to 10 to the power 3 meter per second and ratio of uh, this uh, planet x and earth mass mx upon m is 4 ratio of the planet x and the earth's radius is rx upon r will be 2 we find out the escape velocity v e so formula here is v escape is equal to under root 2 gm e upon r e v escape x will be under root of 2 gm x upon r x these two formulas we have to use here so first we calculate uh, from these two equations uh, 1 and 2 v escape x upon v escape will be under root 2 mx into r e upon me into r x so substitute the values 4 into half it will be giving you root to root to means 1.414 now we escape uh, this secondary will be x into is equal to uh, v escape into 1.414 and this value is 11.2 into 23 into 1.414 after calculating this one you are getting 15.84 into 23 meter per second so the escape velocity of the body from the planet x will be x is 15.84 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second next uh, state the following here first one is dover errors laws of triads and this is in each triad when the elements are placed according to the increasing order of their atomic mass is the atomic mass of the middle element in each triad is approximately equal to the mean of the atomic masses of the other two elements second is newton's laws of octaves when the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses the properties of the eighth element are similar to the first third one mendeleev's periodic law so mendeleev's periodic law said that the part properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses modern periodic law the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers now uh, complete the following flow chart that is uh, here modern periodic table is given here are different blocks are given and we have to fill up these four so yes here is group 13 and 14 d and that of the lanthanide and actinide series so in the fill in the blanks uh, the chart will be yes block that is group 1 and 2 here it is a p block group uh, this 13 and 18 uh, d block that is uh, groups 3 and 12 here it is a block and uh, lanthanide and actinide series in the modern periodic table the positions of uh, 1 to 20 elements are shown here identify the elements a and b write their atomic number here you can see the chart that is shown elements from 1 to 20 here a and b are element a is uh, lithium element b is neon atomic numbers of the element a is 3 and the atomic number of the elements b is 10 some elements and their uh, atomic radii are given here arrange them in a decreasing order of their atomic radii identify which of the above elements is the biggest atom and which is smallest and so here uh, you can see elements and their atomic radius k 231 na 186 rb 244 cs uh, 262 and li is 151 Uh, decreasing color of the atomic radii are cs is greater than rb is greater than k is greater than ne is greater than li so here this cesium has the biggest atomic atom and uh, lithium has the smallest atom complete the following chart 
here is cell n 2n square electron holding capacity is the chart here kl is given here it will be next we have to find out these four places we have to write and uh, n's value given from that 2n square we have to calculate and electron holding capacity also we have to answer so here is the uh, answer here in the first k first cell so n is 1 2 into 1 square is 2 second cell is l so n is 2 2 into 2 square is 8 how 2 into 2 square is 4 4 2 are 8 third is m n is equal to 3 2 into 3 raised to 2 3 raised to 2 is uh, 9 into 2 is 18 uh, next cell is n 4 n's value 2 into 4 square 4 square is 16 into 2 is 32 next uh, 13 find the period in which these elements can be placed barium chlorine helium and aluminum friends here for b that is the electron qualification of this is 2 2 it is placed in period 2 17 cl electron configuration of this 2 8 7 it is placed in period 3 2 he electronic configuration is 2 it is placed in period 1 13 al electron configuration is 2 8 3 and it is placed in period 3 electronic configuration of element a is 2 8 1 answer the following questions based on this information what is the atomic number of element a find the group to which this element belongs friends here uh, atomic number of this element a is 11 2 plus 8 plus 1 and the element a is belongs to group 1 classify the following uh, elements into metals and non metals s is there mz al p n and na here friends this s is a non metal sulfur mz magnesium is metal al aluminum is metal p phosphorus is non metal and nitrogen is non metal and na sodium is metal so friends i think these are the questions that are based on topic number 1 and uh, rest of the solve the following questions we will be discuss in the next video thank you for watching this video we'll see the next type of the questions in the next video till that bye